Today we continue second part of the Tiles Gambit in Sicilian defense after e4, c5, f4. So today we look at the position after d5, knight f6, which we call the main line of the Tiles Gambit in the Sicilian defense. And I would like to start with two games. A first game played by greatest world champion Gary Kasparov in his simultaneous exhibition game against uh, Rosic Valles Alfredo played in 1988 and it was not surprised that uh, Kaspara was just the title was great a chess player and one of the favorite player of Gary Kaspara was of course the Michael Tal and it's not a surprise that in this game Kaspara used to play the gambit discovered by another world champion. So after knight f6, c4, Kasparov played e6, d takes e6, e bishop takes e6. So according to what we studied last time, black has here full compensation for a pawn and it's not so difficult for Kasparov to show this compensation. Knight f3, knight c6, knight c3 and Kasparov played immediately bishop to d6, the most aggressive square. At the same time, black is threatening the pawn on f4. Of course, white could play g3, but after short casting, it's still quite difficult to continue developing. d3 also will be met by short castling. And in this game, Kasparov's opponent decided to open the game immediately by playing d4. However, since black is having Better development is not such a great idea. Knight takes d4. So already here, Kasparov could simply trade the knights after knight takes d4, queen takes d4, and short castling. However, he decided just to continue short castling, allowing white to capture on e6. Bishop e3 and queen e7. Black is having two threats. One is just to bring the rook to d8 and to send, I would say, the threat or to some message to the queen on d1. At the same time, maybe black would like to stop white from castling short side by playing bishop c5 and trading the dark square bishops and only later on to attack the pawn on f4. And also we have in mind to open up the game after e6, e5. Queen f3 bishop b4, bishop e2, and Kasparov played e6, e5. So black badly needs to open up a position. So now in case of short castling, we simply play e takes f4, and if white captures with bishop takes f4, then after knight d4, just a lot of problems that bishop on e2 is hanging. For instance, after queen d3, we play bishop takes e3 and the knight comes and taking on e2 with a check. White lost a piece. So, I believe that white could play in such a position, maybe f takes e5. However, uh, Kasparov's opening took very risky decision and sharp. He played long castling. So, the king of course left the center but this is a big question if we have just enough safe place on the queen side in that case. Bishop takes c3. Kasparov of course immediately destroying white's pawn structure on the queen side. B takes c3. E takes f4. Black is ready also to bring the queen to a3. Bishop d4, so white decided not to invite this black's rook on f8 into the game. Let's say after bishop takes f8, black could play something like knight d4. So after bishop d4, white protecting the pawn on d4. However, black's attack is just simply continuous. Rook a to e8. Bishop takes f6. 